in this video I'm going to show you how you can take an image and make layers out of it so that you can layer um, either cardstock or vinyl, HTV, whatever. Uh, so first of all let's go ahead and get rid of this and come to upload and find the image. I'm going to use this um, Broncos logo here. I'm going to choose complex and continue. Now this background remover is for Cricut Access subscribers only. If you don't subscribe to that then it's not going to work for you. You can use the trial but we don't need it in this case so I don't have a background but if I did even with my select tool I could just click right here and I might have to click you know around some other spaces to get rid of that white background okay so what I'm gonna have to do since I have three colors white blue and orange I'm gonna have to upload this and erase all the opposite colors three times okay now I have some more options down here and the one that I'm going to change is the color tolerance. I'm going to change that to 100 and hit enter. Okay, and then I'm going to, with my select tool, erase everything but the orange. So I'm going to come in here and erase all this blue. And there's blue on the inside of here, but I'm going to have to zoom in to be able to see it without erasing the orange. All right, so you can see that I can see it. You probably can't, but you'll see it once I go to apply that there's little remnants of color left behind here. See, so I could have actually probably upped my color tolerance to 150 or even 125 and gotten rid of that but if you have that and you're at this stage and you don't want to go back and start over to change your color tolerance then just zoom in select your eraser tool and just come along and see if you can grab all of those pieces you may need to zoom way in and just erase them. Let's see. I have more over here. I just want to make sure that I don't erase that eye wherever it is. There it is. I want to get all these little bits gone. Okay, now I can go to continue, and I can see that I still have one here and one here, so I'll go back, and I'll zoom way in again, and choose my eraser, and get rid of that one, and there was another one, there's actually a bunch right here, but they're so small. I didn't even see all those on the preview. Okay, where's my eye at? I just want to make sure I don't erase that. Alright, let's try again. Okay, now this is what I want, so I'm going to choose Cut Image and Upload. Then I'm going to come back. I see I still had a spot. I don't know if you saw that or not, but I did. I can fix that though. And I'm going to upload it again complex image and then I'm going to go ahead and come to more options and change this to 125 and hopefully I won't have hit enter hopefully I won't have that issue um, with the rest of the colors alright so I'm gonna make sure I'm in my select tool and now I had my orange so I'm gonna go ahead and erase that this time and I'm going to erase the blue. Then I need to zoom in and erase this blue, this blue, this orange, this blue, 
and there's a nostril. Okay, and then choose apply. All right, so my white layer looks good. Click on that for cut image. And then one more time, I need to erase everything but the blue. Complex image. Come down here. Change this to, I think probably 100 would be fine, but I'll do the 125 and erase all of the orange and the white. Zoom in so I can get that eye. Now another thing I'll mention is that if your color tolerance is too low, you're going to have jagged edges here. And you really want them as smooth as possible. If I zoom way in on this eye, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, how jagged that is. Um, but I'm at 261%, so hopefully it's not going to be uh, too bad as far as my machine goes. And I'm going to go ahead and um, apply this and choose cut image and upload. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and upload one more time and I'll show you why in a minute. Now, if you have a background, you're going to want to erase that background, but I don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this this, this way and I'm gonna also choose it as a cut image and I'm gonna upload it. And then I'm gonna, whoops, um, I'm going to select all four of these and I'm going to add them to my canvas. And then once they get added, they'll all be grouped. I'm going to go ahead and change the size to something a little more manageable. And then I can separate all of my layers. Okay. And this one is blue. And this one is white. And this one is orange. Now, if I would have had more colors, I could have actually uploaded this as a cut image so I would have it as a reference to know what pieces are what color. Um, the reason that I did it this way is because when I now put these together, um, if I am using, let's see, let me zoom in here. You can see that that orange needs to be on the top because otherwise it's going to be covered up by this white. Um, let me choose this white and go to arrange, send to back, and then there's my orange eye, okay? All right, now, no matter how I move these, I'm gonna have separation somewhere, either at the top or the bottom or over here. Um, and if you're layering HTV, that's gonna be an issue because you, um, you, your vinyl will shrink a little bit, okay? So, that is why I chose to do this. And what I'm going to do is change this color to the blue, and then I'm going to layer, I'm going to actually select this, come to Arrange, uh, Send to Back, <clears throat> and then I'm going to layer my colors on top of that. That way, I don't have um, any separation where I can see, like, the shirt behind that. If I had, um, let me just go ahead and grab a square here, and I'll change that color to, let's say, a green. And then I'm going to arrange that and send it to the back, and I'll just enlarge it here. And if I put these layers on here like this no matter how I arrange them I'm gonna have some separation somewhere 
Um, it's just the way it is, okay? And if this is your shirt, the green is your shirt, you're going to see little slivers of that green because your vinyl will shrink just a little bit, okay? Um, and that's why it's good to have a back layer like this. But then you are layering, uh, you know, and it's going to be heavier on the shirt, but it'll look nicer, okay? Um, a lot of people will say slice this back layer out, but then, you know, you take the chance of having that um, separation. So, I mean... This is how you make a layered um, image or layers from an image. It's pretty simple to do. Um, just make sure that you, you know, if you're getting a bunch of little remnants, just up your color tolerance and um, you'll be good to go. And then once you go to make it, you'll have your white layer, your orange layer, and your blue layer. Okay? So that's it. Thanks for watching.